Cooking in a room, cooking in a room, cooking with room for snacks. Cooking in a room, cooking in a room, cooking with room for snacks. Cooking in a room, cooking in a room, cooking with room for snacks. Cooking in a room, cooking in a room, cooking with room for snacks. How to make a Zappo sandwich. The first step in this cooking process is to unwrap the various Zappos you have attained. This is important because you are not capable of eating plastic or wrappers. This can be seen by the intense amount of dying whales you wash up on shore with stomachs full of plastic. Of course, there is this one worm that is capable of eating such plastics, I think. But my demographics show that none of you are that worm. Seriously, YouTube knows everything about you. You might want to be more careful about what you put out online. When you're done unwrapping the lollies, you find that they are also wrapped individually. This is done to ensure that the most waste is created in the process of making lollies. This is a step most people forget, but you have to unwrap the individual lollies before they are able to be consumed healthily by you. You probably won't die by eating them when they still got their wrapper in. but. It is still generally considered an unhealthy thing to eat the skin of the lolly, also known as his wrapper. You shall now be able to see the pink, sugary flesh of the lollies. You should be able to count a good number. Though mine is probably lower than average because I already ate most of the Zappos that I had. Because they're, they're, they, they're very addictive. Once you're done with that, stack them in any way that you think looks effective. Just be wary that they're not designed to be structurally stable and also will collapse constantly. But that's fine, because they're also lollies that are literally very cheap. Once you've terribly failed to maintain the structure of the lollies in the unstable form a single tower presents, then form it into a more structurally sound construction. This does not necessarily require architectural skills, though that can help. Once you're done with that, squish them together so that they stick as if you don't stick them strong enough, they will fall apart. Dick. Enjoying the food is the final step. This is easy. Just sit behind a terribly lit green screen and chew. Oh, 
can make sure it's not my hand sticky. Finger looking good. That's when we knew it was going to end. And it quite wrong.